This is chapter three, selections, programming exercise three. Algebra, solve a two by two linear equation. Write a program that prompts the user to enter A, B, C, D, and E, and F, and displays the result. If AD minus BC is zero, report that the equation has no solution. Now, if you remember, we actually did this many times, I believe, already. And this goes back, I believe, in chapter one, programming exercise 13, we did something similar. So instead of rewriting all of that, all I'm going to do is to grab that code from that exercise and then paste it in here. All right, now, What's so great about commenting your code is that because you comment your code, it's so much easier to go back, read your comments, and remember all of this and uh, exactly what you did. All right. So let's see. Let's uh, find out. We say we find a terminant D by using the X and Y values from the problem. So we got that here. And then we found d, dx, dy, and then display it. So let's see. When we run this right here, actually, no, that's a different exercise. We get something like this. d, dx, dy, xy is equal to all of this right here. All right. Now, with this exercise here, it simply say we write a program that prompts the user to enter a, b, c, d, e, and f. The thing right here is, we already have that filled out, right? A, B, C, D, E, F. So assuming this is A, B, C, D, E, F. We're going to use the exact value right here. So we're not going to even prompt the user to enter that. But of course, if you do, here's what you do, all right? You create that variable, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And then you have this formula right here. And you just plug that straight in, all right? Simple as that. Um, and basically, if, once you plug that straight in, you could just solve with this given uh, formula right here, or actually right here, and then use the formula uh, as written right here. Or if you take a look back in this video, or chapter one program exercise 13, it shows exactly what is done. So all we have to do, right, is the easy way. We just have to solve for AD minus BC is that zero. Well, in this case, AD minus BC, where do we have that? Uh, you can use Kramer's rule to solve the following two by two system of linear equation provided that AD minus BC is not zero. So we could just simply grab AD minus BC, which will say A, uh, B, C, D, E, F. So A, D minus B, C. So basically right here, we'll just do a little check and find that. So let's see, what is it called here? Uh, hmm, A, D minus B, C. So let's call that our check. We'll create a int check and say, uh, actually, before I do that, let me just say, let's just say a, b, c, d is given, right? Int a equals 3.4, comma, hmm, b equals 50.2 was that? Oh, right. And let, let's make this more visible. C equals 44.5. D equals 2.1. E equals 0 0.55. F equals 
5.9 and then we do it check double check equals uh, a times d subtracted by b times c all right and then here's the thing uh, we don't want to display this or do we actually write a program prompt to use enter a b c d and display the result if a d minus b c is zero report that the equation has no solution so we could do we could um put this inside an if statement if check equals zero uh, no does not equal zero then we display the following else we could just simply say um, this equation has no solution and bam we're done so it does all that bam 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 and it's display so basically well we already knew we already knew that uh the, that right here does not equal zero uh but of course uh this exercise <laughs> it's pretty straightforward um and the reason i didn't want to go through it is because sometimes uh in your why is it not stopped that's weird process exit. okay sometimes you know in your programming or when you're doing a project it's okay to reuse code if your code already have uh have the exact work that you've written on for it why would you want to uh write it all over again and keep rewriting the code you could always grab the code that you already have it is good clean code and just edit a little and you get your results all right so that will be it for this programming exercise